what's going on guys, Exclusive here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, hate and criticism, and I don't know what is kind of sparking some of these things. You guys know I used to have a uh, Tricks of the Trade series, and it, I didn't fully take it away, right? I mean, I know I haven't uploaded an episode of that in a while, um, but that series is kind of just on hold for right now. I'm going to bring it back later at some point, um, and I've actually been debating on whether or not to start up some other sort of tutorial series for maybe Photoshop or Sunny Vegas or anything like that, so if you guys want to see some of that stuff, um, then just let me know in the comments below, but today uh, I figured I'd give you guys some uh, some tips if you guys are aspiring YouTubers and uh, and want to start content creating uh, in whatever field it is. Uh, I guess there's a couple things you need to know, and today I kind of wanted to just cover, like I said, criticism and hate. There's a very fine line between actually constructive criticism, like, you know, actually looking at someone's content and being constructive and actually wanting to help and then just being blatantly rude. Like there are two, there, those are, that's a very fine line between the two. And I think people kind of forget that at some point. I mean, there are people that just because it's online, just because you don't know them, you know, they can kind of just, they think they can say whatever they want. And I think that's a big part of just kind of why they do what they do. Or they're just very unhappy with their lives. I really have no idea. But one of the biggest things that I remember, and it, it, it comes with the territory, I think, just being a content creator, putting yourself out there, you know, really working hard on something. And then to have people, you know, obviously there's a ton of people looking at it, everybody, hopefully, and most of the people actually enjoy it. Um, and then you've got, you know, that, that small percentage of people that will just throw crazy negative comments at you. And it just kind of feels it, it, like no matter how many people actually liked the video, let's say you get like 10 comments that are just extremely hateful and, and, and just very, very mean and cruel. You know, those 10 comments, like if you're, if you're not careful and if you don't have what I'm about to, you know, kind of tell you guys in your heads, it, you, it can kind of change your whole perspective around on, on how that video actually did or or if you if this is you know the right job for you or if this is the right um, path for you to take as a content creator and I think it all like I said comes with the territory I mean being being a content creator I mean I think the majority of I think being sensitive obviously when you're sensitive it, it it's difficult to kind of just let that stuff pass by you without it really phasing you but I think being sensitive as a content creator is actually a good thing I mean it it means you're uh, perceptive, it means you, you care about what people think, and that's good when you're a content creator. It, it means that you, like I said, care about what people think. You want people to enjoy your content, and if they're not, you care what they think. You care what they are going to enjoy, and, and you kind of, you know, incorporate that into your into your content in the future. Um, and obviously those negative comments, you know, make it extremely difficult to do that. Um, but one of the biggest things that I've remembered throughout my, I mean, I haven't been on YouTube even for a year yet, but... Um, I think I've learned a little bit over my time here and my time over on Twitch TV, which I have been on for longer, that the amount of people that actually watch a video, right? I mean, I'm going to give you guys an example. Let's let's say that there are 10,000 people that tune into your video one day, right? There's 10,000 people and maybe that 10,000 video or 10,000 video, that 10,000 uh, view video has 200 comments, right? And even if all 200 of those are extremely negative and just extremely disrespectful, people just telling you to, you know, tape your mouth shut and and never speak again, like, but it's just rude, very bad comments. You know, those 200 people, they are the minority. They are the small percentage of people that just don't give a flying fuck what anybody else thinks. And, and a, to an extent, that's good. To a very big extent, that's not. And it's not cool to just sit there and hate on anybody when they clearly don't know you. They don't know who you are as a person. They don't know... You know, maybe they haven't even been looking at your channel long, they could have just stumbled across your video and thought it was completely okay to just throw mindless hate at you. And it's not. It's it's bullshit and it's stupid. But, like I said, the thing to remember is they are the minority. You know, out of the 10,000 people that watched your video, you know, those those the majority of those are nice people. They're very nice people that enjoyed your video, they enjoyed your content, they hopefully got a smile out of it. And and they had a good time and they clicked off the video, maybe they dropped a like and, and then they left, you know. And obviously there's a small percentage of them that will leave a comment saying they liked it or, or giving actual constructive criticism or whatever it may be. But the 200 comments that you have on that video, you know, are just very negative and rude comments. And I think one of the biggest things to remember is just that the, the rude and, and very negative people that just kind of spread negative energy and just, just mindless hate that they throw at people. I mean, those people, I think, are just louder than the, the nice people in this world. And, I've, and there's such a vast majority of them. I mean, uh, like I said, the, the rude and hateful people are the minority. The, the nice people, I mean, I'm going to just, you know, it's kind of like an 8 out of 10 thing. An 8 out of those 10 people are extremely, extremely nice. And then the 
you know, two people that are left over are just extremely rude, but they just speak very loudly. Those are the people that, you know, when you're in a movie theater, they're just fucking yelling. They're just, they're just throwing shit, throwing popcorn, just, you know, they got the feet up on the chair in front of them, just kind of kicking the dude in front of them in the face. Like, it's, the, those are those rude people that you kind of just notice more than the, the quiet people, the people that actually enjoyed the video. And I think that's a really big thing to remember. I mean, for instance, for me, right, just a personal example, I, like I said, I've only been on YouTube for a year, so I don't have all the experience in the world. And I have dealt with hate before from different videos and not like just ridiculous amounts thrown at me at the same time. Uh, but over the years, I mean, you guys know, over the years, over the videos I've made, I mean, you guys know the very first video I made, I think it has 52,000 views right now or something close to that. So a lot of people have actually viewed that video. And there's a very big amount of people that really enjoyed it and left a comment and let me know. And there's a very big amount of people that didn't and told me to be quiet and shut my mouth and throw my game out the window. So it's like, I mean, you're going to get hate really no matter where you go. I mean, it's kind of a thing that happens as you grow. You know, you get more people, you, you get a, uh, a bigger range of people. And some people are not going to like your content and some people are. I mean, there's no way to make everybody happy. I wish there was, you know, but, but that's just not the world we live in. It's not possible to do that. Um, but if you just remember that the the vast majority of people are just quieter, you know, they're just the they're just quiet. They're watching, you know, they're having a nice day on YouTube, just browsing videos, browsing through their favorite YouTubers, and and enjoying the videos that they make. And you know, one of them is yours. And those very loud people that just sit there and throw mindless hate at you, those people you really just have to ignore. You just have to completely ignore them and and block them out. Don't respond to them. Don't give them any sort of acknowledgement at all because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve any acknowledgement. They don't deserve to, to even know that you saw the, the message, you know, like they, they just don't deserve that. And the good people, you know, even whether it's one comment or two out of 200 that are just extremely negative, you just kind of have to focus on that, you know, look at the like and dislike rating. If You know, I mean, that that is also a nice way to check because some people, you know, will just leave a like rating and not actually comment on the video. And that's completely fine. And I mean, like I said, there's a big majority of people that don't leave anything and just watch the video and leave. And that's completely fine too. Uh, you just have to remember that the people that actually enjoy your videos are the ones you should focus on. Like the people that just throw mindless hate at you, don't focus on them. They don't deserve it. They're just people that are upset. There's some, but they're people that will go to the movie theater the next day, like I said, and put their feet up and just kick the dude in front of them in the face. That's just something that they would do, and they would feel they wouldn't feel bad about it at all. They would probably tell him to move. Like that's just, that's just the thing. That's the way life is, and. Um, I just think that's something to remember as you're as you're creating content. Because like I said, I mean, I'm a sensitive person too. I mean, I, I I'm actually I'm probably more sensitive than most people. I I don't react well to, to hate and stuff. And I mean, that's something that I struggle with. And I figured I'd share with you guys. I mean, just one thing to remember is that they are the minority. They, there are not a ridiculous amount of people out there that are just mindless and and extremely ignorant and just want to hurt you. Like, there's not a whole lot of people out there like, that are like that that you're run into. Uh, but they are louder than everyone else, and you'll see them more, and you'll think that there's so, so, so many of them, when in reality there's not. Uh, you just kind of have to focus on those people that are nice and are actually giving you constructive criticism. And for instance, um, like, you know, imagine somebody saying, uh, like I just I gave an example before, imagine somebody saying like, you know, tape your mouth shut, you're stupid and you smell bad. Like, they, a person that leaves that kind of comment, like I said, just completely ignore that. Don't, just, just toss that one aside, that person's an idiot, and just let it go. The next comment could say, you know, hey man, this was a great video, I just think the music was a little loud at the end. That kind of thing, like I couldn't really hear your voice, you know, maybe turn it down the next time. That's great. You know, listen to those people. Those people know what they're talking about. Like the people that give you constructive criticism and that, that are not rude and, just, and just, bl just blatantly rude, you know, the people that are actually trying to help. Those people, fo you know, focus on them. Let's just thank them for, for giving you a suggestion and, and actually incorporate that into your content because they are the viewer, you know. They are the people that are watching your video and they're the people that matter, you know, and the, and the minority that just click on your video, don't like the way you look and, you know, leave a comment telling you that. Just don't listen to them. They're just, just let them go completely and focus on the nice people in this world. Anyway, guys, my rant is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. Let me know you guys want to see more of this stuff. And let me know uh, in the comments if you want to see more YouTube tip stuff. I mean, this is the first one I've done in a while. And I've got some other things up my sleeve that I can talk about um, if you guys want to hear it. So I know I do have some aspiring YouTubers out there that do subscribe to my channel that, uh, you know, leave comments and all that good stuff. If you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know. Um, if you guys are new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You'll be updated every time uh, I upload a video and you can go check it out and make sure you don't miss one. But thanks for watching, guys. I've been exclusive. Take care.